Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Should you learn Fusha classical MSA Arabic or should you learn a dialect? Now, let me tell you why you should learn Fusha and classical Arabic and tell you about a few benefits aside from the obvious reasons why you should start with the classical being the source and being the root of any dialect one of the cool reasons i guess or interesting reasons which came to mind a couple of days ago is that me having been in mauritania and having been in saudi arabia and having been in egypt and having been around different arabs and having heard and experienced different arabic dialects i realized that knowing and being solid in the classical fosha msa arabic it gives you a wider understanding of the different dialects now for example in the Egyptian dialect they say Amilte, what did you do right and they use the verb from the Arabic language which is Amila which it could be literally translated as work or you know in that context you could say it as well as to do what do you guys do like for example Allah says in the Quran Wallahu bima ta'maluna alim and Allah is about what you do all knowing right you have as well in Mauritania they say Adalt they say Adalto as in did you do it do you do what I told you? Addala. And they use the verb Addala. The word Addala in the Quran, Allah uses it as well as, you know, to make or to put together, which could you could argue that it means to do as well. So Allah is in the Quran, الذي خلقك خلقك فسوك فعدلك. And in a qiraa they say Addalak in Warsh. So with that being said, they use that verb Addala as to do, to make, to put together, to make you straight basically. So Mauritanians, they use this verb, they took this verb and they use it to do like what did you do or did you do it or did you put it together did you did you uh, manage to do that thing that you said you was going to do etc then you have in the Saudi dialect or Khaliji dialect they say sawa they use the verb sawa and they say sawaitu sawaitahu as in did you make it did you you know did you do it that's how they use it and Allah in the Quran he says فَسَوَّاكَ فَعَدَلَكَ so in the same ayah in the same verse he uses that same verb sawa to say he is the one that puts you together now literally translated or the most common meaning of sawa could be to basically put something on the same level as the rest of the things to put it on the same exact level which you could argue so that it means to put together which you could argue as well that it could mean to make to do to get done things like that so as you guys can see dialects are only a diluted version of the classical msa arabic so if you want to understand dialects arabic dialects you should start with msa arabic and you should start with classical arabic let alone if you want to understand the quran the hadith etc of course no doubt you should just focus on classical arabic and fusha arabic so yeah dialects are beneficial in some instances like for example if you live in a, an arab country in a muslim country and you want to understand people and communicate with people and so on it's beneficial for you to do so but for another reason it's no point. So yeah, guys, uh, I'll leave you guys with this. Hopefully this was beneficial. See you guys on the next one.